This is Direct News. I'm Scott Muni. The rock band Little Feet had a widespread legion of fans, but never attained massive commercial success. And recently, the band members split up for solo projects. Singer, songwriter, and guitarist Lowell George was the guiding force of Little Feet. He just put out a solo album called Thanks, I'll Eat It Here, and embarked on a tour with a new band when he was found dead of an apparent heart attack in his hotel after a Washington, D.C. performance on June 29th. He was 34 years old. Direct News reporter Martin Perlick talked to Lowell George three weeks before his death. Who were you before, Little Feet? Uh, a fat kid from the Hollywood Hills, basically, was, you know, I was thinking about being an advertising artist. And uh, in college, I got a guitar and started to play. I was interested in songwriting. And I had been in this, you know, bar band for a while. And the producer of this bar band, made a, we made a couple of songs for uni records. And they went, these are great, put them out. And the strawberry alarm clock, you know, walked in the door and went, great, take them. Right? We were signing everybody at that point. And he said I should really concentrate on songwriting. He was not much of what you would call a great producer, but at least he inspired me to get going in that direction. Because it really is a, a very important part of music, is to be creative with it. I feel my creativity comes in the writing aspect of music. You're starting a solo career after a very successful but not star-studded group life of some almost the entire 1970s. You are emerging from a band that, based on its merits, should have been much more popular, should have been stars years ago. With that question, I'll ask you a question, which is, why wasn't Charles Mingus a star? Uh, Arthur Crudup, why wasn't he a star? He wrote some songs that the Rolling Stones did. Why didn't anybody know about it? I mean, that kind of, that happens all the time. We were a little eclectic, I think. I mean, very eclectic, actually. <laughs> and that, that's a, probably the primary reason is because we took a lot of chances, you know, with what we did. We really put it out there to get stepped on. But still, you know, one would have expected, when people, when I, when I play sailing shoes for people today, or when I play roll and or something like that, people just go, you know? You got me. I have no idea. I don't sell records, I make them. Ask the record company. Singer, songwriter, and guitarist, the late Lowell George. This is Direct News.